and welcome back. Suppose now that I am interested to create a blank presentation and I am not interested in choosing any of the templates from the given gallery. I click on the blank presentation which takes me to the interface of Google Slides. Now as you can see that there are a number of themes which Google Slide offers us in order to add a better look and feel to our slides. I can select and apply as many themes as possible as per my wishes and requirements. Suppose I want to go in for a very subtle theme and I select the simple light layout. Now I am creating a presentation on Google Slides itself for all my viewers. Just like in the case of Microsoft PowerPoint, the interface of Google Slides is very much similar to it. There, there is an option where you can change fonts as well as increase or decrease the font size. Suppose you are not keen to take any of the font as provided to you in the list below. You can also select the more fonts option from which you can select a font and make your presentation look better. Suppose I select the Montserrat font and I can increase or decrease the font size as per my wishes. In the first video of mine, I had explained the concept of the explore button. Now at the bottom, as you can see, there is an explore button, which gives us the flexibility to apply as many styles as possible on our presentations. So here, as you can see that there are various ways to style my particular slides of Google Slides itself. I can choose as many layouts as possible depending on what I feel to choose and apply. Suppose I am not even interested in choosing any of the layouts and I want to go in to my original blank color slide. I click on the redo button or I press the control plus Z button on your keyboard. Google Slide also offers to change the background so you can click the background button and you can apply a color onto your background. You can select as many colors one at a time as possible to give it a better look. You can also choose an image. So as soon as you click on the choose image option, it opens a pop up and you can see there are many options from which you can upload an image. You can either upload an image from your computer system. You can either paste a URL. You can upload images from Google Drive. You can upload images from camera and you can also upload images from the Google image search engine. Now I select and I type background images and I can select an image which appeals to me and which I want to put as a backdrop on my first slide. So I take this image and I click on the insert button, click on done and as you can see this beautiful image has been made as a backdrop to my first slide. Now as you can see the naming of the presentation is still looking at me as, a, as an untitled presentation. As soon as I click here it automatically gives me the name which I have written on my first slide, which is Google Slides itself. You can also make changes itself and make it available for all your viewers. Now you would also be noticing one thing that I am making all sorts of changes. I am making additions, deletions, redoing my work, modifications, but I am not saving it anywhere. This is, this is what sets it apart from Microsoft PowerPoint presentation in which all the time you need to continuously save your changes in case of any power failure. Google Slides does, does not have the option of saving manually. As you can see on the top, there is a little cloud which has been created in the form of an icon 
which is the C document status. As soon as you click on it, you can see that all changes are saved to drive. So you need not save any changes manually. All the changes that are made on the Google Slides are being done by Google Slides itself and they are being saved on your drive. So now that I want to go and see my drive to see if the presentation is being saved or not, I again go on to the nine dots which are available there on my Gmail account and I open my Google Drive. As you can see, this presentation of mine which has been made by me here is available under Google Drive. If I want to see if my, that my changes have been saved, I click on the same uh, link which is given under Google Drive and it takes me to my Google Slides presentation. So this is it for now. In the next video, we will see how to create new slides and how to insert a text box, videos, audios, different charts and diagrams. Thank you.